I've been buying shiny JPEGs on Cardano since day one, and I managed to get a Space Buds very early for a very low mint price and watch the value of it go continuously up over 2021. And in 2022 here, we're seeing the floor price of it at around 7,000 and continuously climbing. Now, what can I actually do with this? That value isn't actually realized until I actually sell it. So I actually have to find a buyer for it as well. Well, check out this project here. It's called Fluid Tokens, and I'll be talking about it in this episode. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get hey everyone, I'm Peter Beer, and if this is your first time here, give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and you hear more great Cardano content from me soon. Now, this project here, Fluid Tokens, I'm pretty excited about. They're trying to bring Cardano's first NFT DeFi bridge, whereas you can unlock the value of your NFT by providing as collateral and then borrowing against that. Yeah, that's cool. When we're seeing other DeFi protocols coming out very soon where borrowing and lending is possible and you can use ADA as collateral and take out a loan against that. This is using your NFT and using this, this unrealized value of this uh, floor price here and unlocking that so that you can participate in other parts of the DeFi ecosystem or cash it out to fiat currency and use it to pay your bills, whatever it might be. So you can pull out your NFTs, pay for your mortgage, pay for your groceries, whatever it is, pay that back at a later time and then get back your collateral that you may have used. And I'm pretty excited about this. I had a look through the project. The timeline in general is for 2022. So we're looking for a release of this sometime this year. And it gives you this, the website still in progress. It really doesn't really show you much here, but let me pull up the white paper for you where we can have a look at this in more detail. Now I went through this in a little bit more detail and you can get to it all in the show notes. I'll put everything in there for the in the description for you. But essentially what they're doing is unlocking that value by providing DeFi loans and using your NFTs as collateral. They go through the general, yes, you know, decentralized finance is great and amazing. It's been born. And another byproduct of blockchain is the whole NFT space. That's really cool. We all know this at the moment. But what they highlight and what is a problem is that NFTs are highly illiquid and it immobilizes an impressive amount of money. And that is true. So we can't easily sell our NFTs. You need to find a buyer, unlike ADA, where there's a huge amount of liquidity there and you can buy and sell and trade on multiple different exchanges. And it's really fluid in regards to that uh, amount of liquidity that's there. So you can exit and enter the market quite easily. NFTs are a lot harder. And this is where Fluid Token wants to jump in, where Fluid Token is the first ever DeFi lending platform where borrowers can offer their most valuable NFTs as collateral to borrow cryptocurrencies that can be reinvested and repaid under requirements agreed by both parties. And that is absolutely amazing. I don't think I've heard of anything else like this anywhere in the DeFi ecosystem anywhere. And this is something I am super excited about. Now, if we go down a little bit further here, we can see the basic user flow of the smart contract and how it be actually executed. And I highly encourage you to check out the white paper and read this in more detail here. But it's a very simple workflow and it looks like it can be executed quite easily on Cardano smart contracts. Now, if we go down a little bit further here, they've pointed out a couple of really important things. One is that no ADA or fungible tokens is actually locked in the fluid token smart contract and the NFT is the only thing that's used as collateral. The other thing here, the borrower can in any, at any moment repay the lender. Now this is a last one down here, which is quite interesting. All involved parties will have to communicate via the smart contract. So it's not private. Everything will be seen on the blockchain there. So people will know what's actually happening around the ecosystem there. Now it goes through some more technical details here. And like I said, I highly encourage you to go through it. They are providing a native token for their platform. So it's their governance token to help reduce fees and also have some uh, featured loans, dedicated section where Fluid Token website will prioritize loans that will have burnt a required amount of native tokens to appear as featured, getting increased visibility and a higher probability of being chosen by lenders. 
So using that governance token to pay, essentially pay for featured listings on their platform. Now this very, very last thing down here with the uh, Fluid Token ecosystem, I love this. It's kind of a throwaway comment just right at the very bottom here. We're finally looking forward to the official Cardano bridge with Ethereum to provide NFT loans to cross-chain tokens, expanding even more the DeFi use case. So this is talking about bringing NFTs from Ethereum over to Cardano then use it within their protocol and providing loans through that mechanism there. So we may see a whole bunch of different Ethereum based NFTs come over to the Cardano ecosystem and participating in this DeFi protocol. That would be very interesting to see. There is a lot of expensive NFTs out there. Let's see if people are willing to bring them over and unlock some more value out of it. Now, of course, I did have a look at the team to try and work out exactly who is behind this project. But I did have a good look into Matteo here and dig a little bit deeper into the team's experience. And we have a look at Matt's profile here. He has actually a pretty impressive resume. First being a founder of his own project this with a Fabula Art, the DevOps lead at CNFTIO and also the DevOps lead at Pavia.io. So I did check this out and have a look at the project that they're working on here. So this is the one that they released in August of last year in 2021. Now jumping over to Pavia, looking at their team here and I can find Matt's profile just down here as well. So I can confirm that he is a part of the team. Although, you know, he, he can't really tell sometimes when uh, there are 3D generated um, avatars. Now the cnft.io team, they're quite anonymous in regards to their profiles on the websites and whatnot. Now in terms of where we're at in regards to the community, now I was given this project by uh, a member at Sensei Across Paradise. So thank you so much. I have to give you the shout out for this one uh, for making me aware of Fluid Tokens. But in terms of where the community is at and where they've developed so far, they literally just started. Uh, and put their white paper and everything together. So I am follower number four on their uh, Twitter and on Discord. I think I'm also the same, Discord member number four. So it's very, very early days on this project. So please check out their fluid tokens, check out the Discord, check out the team and check out exactly what they're trying to achieve there. It is quite an interesting project and could be something very revolutionary for the NFT ecosystem and DeFi in general. Now I'd just like to give also a shout out to FutureFest, this NFT project which I just stumbled across this morning and when I saw that they somehow partnered up with Cascade, one of my favorite electronic dance music artists of pretty much all time, I got pretty excited about this one. But check it out, let me know what you think. I will try and get an interview with this team to find out a little bit more about how on earth they managed to arrange Cascade to do their virtual event. And the virtual event is happening on the 14th of April. So check that out. This is quite exciting. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Fluid Tokens and what they're trying to achieve. If you've ever wondered what on earth you could actually do with these NFTs, this is something that you could possibly do. So let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Would you provide your NFTs as collateral for this particular DeFi? protocol or would you provide lending would you provide the liquidity for these loans i'd be interested to see if you are interested in anything like this now if you really enjoyed this podcast episode please consider giving me a thumbs up click subscribe and click on the notification bell and hear more from me real soon yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.